Hello, my beautiful Capricorns. This is your reading for the week of December 2nd. If I can just get a match out here and light this sage up, guys. We are in the final month of 2019. Is anybody else as excited as I am? Because I'm totally excited to wrap this up, Capricorns. Having been doing your readings for years, I've seen the developments, the growth, the transformation, the healthy boundaries, the financial expansion, the relationship growth. You guys are doing incredible. Yeah, you're still human. And yeah, there's going to be things that are always going to have to be worked on and grown. But I'm super proud of you. One of my greatest friends is a Capricorn. My mother's a Capricorn. And I've seen the evolution of it. So let's jump in, guys. Take a deep breath. And for those of you who are just joining me for the first time, welcome. And if this serves you or resonates with you, please like, subscribe, or share if you feel this might resonate for another. Now, I just connect with the energies, the universe, divine angels, guides, whatever you want to call it. To see the vibration of this week that's coming up specifically for Capricorns, whether it's your sun, your moon, or your rising. So please be sure to check all three so you have a complete picture of what the energetic makeup is going to be for this week. And this is just asking for guidance, what's in the highest good of Capricorn, how to best work with this energy, and any, um, any communication or support that comes in for you. So let's jump into it. Energy of Capricorn for the week of December 2nd. Ooh, that flew right out. This upcoming week holds for the energy of Capricorn. What guidance do you have? And one more. That's it. There we go. There is a very distinct message, but I am liking it. Page of Raphael, seven of Raphael. These are cups. Two of Gabriel, which is one. Seven of Ariel, which is coins. Four of Gabriel, which is one. It's a traditional tarot. Guys, this is a beautiful week. It's about partnerships, emotional wealth, well-being, connection, guys. You and, and I was just saying this, right? Caps, this is an incredible week for you. Number one, this has a lot to do with building and working with if for those who are in romantic partnerships, I'm going to speak to you first. I can see that there is a beautiful time and investment that you have made. Now, this week, you're being asked to make a decision. Don't freak out. It's just decisions on like, what do we want to do? Where do we want to go? Are we going to finally pick that wedding date? Are we actually going to move forward? Let's do this, guys. When you have the four of Gabriel and the seven of Ariel, Caps, you guys have done an incredible job investing. Investing in yourself, your foundation, your security, your home, building with somebody, creating that peace, that harmony, that relationship, that health, that wealth, um, and that security. You've done an incredible, incredible job. And it's really about making decisions this week, being really clear. And I think this is a lesson for you, Capricorn, not in a bad way. You're going to see my dog in the back, pardon me. Not in a bad way, but it's a, it's a choice to make so that you don't continue to sabotage, you keep moving forward. An example can be maybe you're engaged, but you've been engaged for like two years and you haven't set a date. You know, maybe that's still some lingering procrastination, not because you don't love your partner, but maybe because you're scared, you're making excuses. And then maybe deep down it has to do with your worth, it has to do with your, your sense of value. Can I really do this? You know, your own inner fears and insecurities. But this week, you're like, look it, this is incredible. You've done a great job. You really have invested in yourself and the other person in your development in your future, especially your future. Because when you have the two of wands, this is about making really bold and ambitious choices about really looking into the long term, your dreams, your goals, your visions, and working with another person or people that share those same goals or visions. Now, for my single Capricorns out there, you have the page of Raphael as well. So for any of you that haven't met somebody, you're going to be meeting somebody or at least like-minded people, and you're going to be meeting them in a social environment, Capricorn. So maybe you go into that holiday party, that business networking event. Um, that birthday dinner or something along those lines. But as you're around people who love you and know who you are, you're going to be meeting people on the same frequency as well, guys. The Seven of Raphael is letting you know by making not making decisions is also a decision. 
you know? But the more you procrastinate, the more you push off. I mean, you've done all this work. You've done such incredible work. Now, enjoy it. Jump, leap, move, go for it. But the more you stay in this standstill limbo, it's com- it's becoming a little toxic. It might be causing you mental stress, emotional stress, even physical stress, depending on your level of sensitivity, especially if you have a lot of water in your chart. So you definitely do a nice chakra cleanse. I know that sounds like so cliche, but I'm serious. Chakras, they correlate to physical, psychological, emotional, and spiritual aspects. Did I say that twice? Either way. So when you clear them, all the other bodies clear as well. It'll help you see clear, make better decisions, feel grounded, feel at peace, and release all the stress energy. There's a lot of really good um, chakra clearing meditations that you can listen to while you sleep. Just look for the really long ones, like the eight-hour ones, the ten-hour ones, and play those. This is a beautiful week. Movement forward. You, it's, it's, a, it's a week of celebration. You guys are going to be making a really positive decision this week for yourself. So I'm super excited for you, Caps. Whether you're going to go for that day, you know, buy that home, get married, or even if you guys aren't interested in romantic relationships at all, it really is still a week of relationships. It could be platonic. Two of wands can also be contracts, collaborations with other people, vendors, creative projects, your soul tribe, but you really are moving forward, creating positive and incredible foundations, investments in time, money, creativity, and Creativity is emotional, you know, your emotions into something with like-minded people, whether that's romantic or not, and you're going to, if you haven't already met them, and if you aren't already with them, you're more than likely going to be meeting them this week. However, you must make a decision. With the seven of, of Raphael, it's like, make a decision, be clear on what you want, no more ambiguity, more and more like, well, maybe enough. You really want this. Go for it. I know it's scary, but let me tell you, it isn't ever going to be less scary. It's just going to be more and more uncomfortable to stay put. Capricorn, this is an incredible week. I'm so excited for all of you. Beautiful week of movement. Beautiful. And the fourth Gable is also the marriage card. It's the, it's the home card. It's peace and contentment in the family and in the home. And the thing is, with the seven of Ariel, seven of coins, four of Gabriel, four of wands, and the two of Gabriel, this is hard work. So Capricorns, you need to take a second, I'll take it with you, take a deep breath, and tell yourself, I'm I'm freaking incredible. Like, I have done so much work, and it hasn't been easy, and it has had the struggle moments, and I have cried, and I have celebrated, and I have worried, and I have second-guessed myself, but through it all, I have pulled myself through the mud. I have picked myself up. I have made brave decisions. I have, I have decided to release things that don't work for me. I've healed. I've spoken. I've done everything to create the life you now live. Now all that's being asked of you is to love yourself enough to make an incredible decision for yourself so that you can really live that dream and that reality. And the decision might seem small to some people, but it's not. It's a really big decision. Decision to be happy, to say yes, to move forward, to create, to go after your dream, to know your worth. Because Capricorn, you're worth every moment. You're worth all the money. You're worth all that love. It's yours and you deserve it. So you need to tell yourself, I deserve this. I am worthy of this happiness, this opportunity, this creativity. And I accept and receive it into my life now with gratitude. And so it is. Capricorns, I'm so excited for you. This is a great, great week ahead. Great way to start off December and to wrap up 2019. I hope this serves you. If you're interested in an extended reading, my link will be down below. Otherwise, have a beautiful week, guys. And I'll see you next week for your weekly readings.